Hello Capricorn and welcome to your February reading. So, um, in the past, the underlying energy, what explains what you're living right now? We have the Princess of Wands. That's a communication coming into you, a passionate communication. Uh, and right after we have uh, the Hermit. Maybe from a Virgo, don't know, but it could be that that communication kind of made you retract and go within to try and, and assess what you're going to do with that, find your light to guide yourself into the response that you're going to get, that, that you're going to do. And right after we have the Knight of Swords. So whatever you found inside, the truth that you found inside, you're, you're holding it in your hand there and you're going uh, to answer. Uh, that's in the past. You have It's like you... You were told something or whatever, and your response now is uh, is a fast response to that. In the now, we have the Nine of Pentacles. That's you, uh, um, the single lady they call, but it's mostly you in your solidity, in uh, the environment that you built, you built yourself, you were uh, to to this point here so in your solidity in your independence after that we have the five of swords the nine of wands and the ace of pentacles so there's that your response there you're being very defensive about it that's the wounded warrior Maybe that communication was harsh or it's in a way uh, either it kind of won up on you. Um, uh, you know how sometimes people will tell us things that just hurt us or set us back uh, for uh, winning just for winning, not for a very uh, solid reason. And that puts you on your defensive here, the wounded warrior. That's a, a reaction of uh, protection, putting yourself in that state. So uh, maybe that communication uh, really shook you in your solidity, in your independence. And you're like, whoa, you know, defending yourself. With the Ace of Pentacles after, that means that through that, there is that opportunity that the heavens are sending something that can be built on even if you're all defensive in that there's an opportunity in there to build something in the outcome they came out together four cards here we have the knight of wands another knight movement and a fast communication in and out ten of swords Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. It's a truth. Two Aces now. The opportunity that you're receiving from this event here, it's to get the clarity. The clarity here on a, ten of so on a betrayal. Here that communication was maybe a betrayal. Something you weren't expecting. Ten of Swords. It really brought you down. It was fast and... And direct but here uh, here you have the understanding of it the clarity of it so that you can set things balance again and the last card is the high priestess your intuition your s connection to your soul your spirituality we're gonna clarify some cards to get a clearer picture bottom of the deck is the strength so um, uh, here strength this is our lower self our instincts that are not guided by into there's a difference between instinct and intuition instinct it's that fight or flight 
um, to preserve ourselves, to, um, it's the ego trying to uh, protect uh, or survive and all of that. And sometimes it's based on old fears and uh, wrong beliefs. Uh, and here is your higher self that's connected with the universe. And she's able to tame that lion very efficiently because at this point with strength what it's asking, it's asking you to tell your ego that your higher self knows best. And here the lion understands that. That's why he lets her do that very gently because he let go of his of, uh, having to be right and he's letting the higher self take control because he's, he knows she's connected and she's going to take care of him. So it's kind of asking that of you. That communication really shook you and um, all your defense mechanisms uh, are coming up at this point. But it's an opportunity for you to see clearly in that, to bring back the balance and to end that cycle, listening to your intuition. Okay, let's clarify. I call upon spirit, I call upon my guides, I call upon love and light. Give me a clear reading for Capricorn, February. Another time. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, clarify that communication. What's that Prince of Sword here? What's that communication about? What's that communication about? What's that communication about? Spirit. Almost. What's that communication about? For Capricorn. Mm. Something that really disappointed you, broke your heart. Yeah. What's that Five of Swords? It's like a feeling of loss there. What's that Five of Swords? What's that Five of Swords? Here we have the King of Swords. Um, Maybe you're dealing with an air sign, but uh, the King of Sword there, uh, with the Five of Sword, it's the bad side of the King of Sword. So it's a manipulation. Maybe you've you realize that you've been manipulated. You've been screwed. It's somebody winning up on you because they want to attain their goal no matter what, and you were in the way. Talk to me about the wounded warrior. That's why you're so defensive there. You're on your guards. Talk to me about the wounded warrior. Ready to fight back. Queen of Wands. ready to fight back for what you want for uh, for your passion for what uh, that's your willpower that's your feminine side holding her willpower uh, that's your passion that's um, maybe your feminine side whether you're a woman or a man it's uh, it hurt you in your emotions that's for sure and you're guarding yourself for what uh, you want whoa 
You know, this is not what I want. You're defending yourself, holding your willpower in your hand. Fire, fire, that's very fiery at this point. You're very fiery, Scorpio, even, uh, Capricorn, even if you're um, an earth sign. At this point, it's the fire inside of you. Talk to me about the Ace of Pentacles, the opportunity here, opportunity to understand, to heal. Capricorn, Ace of Pentacles, why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Okay, so we have uh, the Four of Wands, that's your home, that can be your home yourself, your solidity, okay? Here you're noticing something that is not working anymore in your home, in yourself, an opportunity or emotions are spilled here, it's something unsolvable. That communication here... Um, um, destroyed something and now it's unsolvable it's uh, it cannot be refilled it was done maybe behind your back and here we have the tree of wands uh, tree four for me with the tree of wands there the opportunity is for you to move on the tree of wands comes after the two of wands which is a decision what am I going to do about that? I have to take a decision. There, the opportunity is to take that decision. You're at the Tree of Swords, looking at what that destroyed, grieving it, you know, because it's probably something that you cared for, or, uh, I mean, for sure it's hurting you, Tree of Swords there. And uh, you're seeing also... A bit how it was done and it hurts you here but I think you're moving on three of wands that's just not standing and watching our boats coming we did some actions before the three of wands arrived we made moves we made a decision you know what's gonna come of that here ace of sword what is the truth, the understanding that Capricorn gets about that? It's a disappointment. It's a huge disappointment here. What is the Ace of Swords? What is the understanding you're getting? In a way, you're saying no more Ten of Swords. That's it. Hangman, you get the elimination. You get the understanding, you're seeing things differently and now you get the understanding of on how you can be uh, put down like this. Talk to me about the High Priestess. It is a uh, illumination. Tell me about the High Priestess. Lovers. Lovers is... Uh, maybe it was uh, someone you were with that totally screwed you over. Lovers is also a decision. A decision to listen to our higher self also, in a way. Because it's a choice. Lovers is a choice. And um, in uh, other depictions of these uh, cards and other uh, tarot decks, you have a man in the middle and two women on each side. And he has to make a choice on which women. One he's married with, it's the ways of the world, it's what we should do and all of that. And the other one is like he's um, passionate about 
he loves her and it's that way so it's a choice between the two one of those choices will elevate you give me another card these are two major arcanas you're realizing something on uh, on that Talk to me about why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here, spirit? For Capricorn. Maybe you're uh, realizing or listening to your intuition about this person there. You could have been with that person in love or. Uh, a friend or in work situation you're gonna make a choice of how you're gonna continue with that person because now you understand and see it clearly Capricorn why is the lovers here for Capricorn spirit that a lot no that's okay that decision it's, it's understanding seeing clearly on uh, your legacy what you're building your family your home here we have <coughs> the star Aquarius so three major arcanas here the high priestess listening to your intuition to your soul about what is really installed for you about what is your true direction what you're meant to be it's also a wish fulfilled here about uh, your your home your legacy what you want to build on it can be work but you're gonna see clearly in that you get the sort of truth illumination listening to your intuition about which way to go to follow you're gonna choose to follow your calling Choose to follow um, who you truly are and build your legacy from that. Here, it was probably on false ground, but you're going to have to use your strength not to listen to your fears, but to, you, to listen to um, your soul here. We're talking a lot about the soul, the connection with your soul, seeing clearly from your spirituality and your soul and that is what you're understanding here kind of understanding uh, that dynamic of being stabbed in the back there you weren't expecting that that communication came very fast very fast but it's your opportunity to change things and change the way you go about and, and uh, yes, uh, you're going to be sad. You are sad right now. But you're seeing how this was all done a bit behind your back. And you're hearing about it now. But it's for you to uh, take your right path. Maybe you weren't not on your right path right now. But it's going to provoke you to take that decision and go on your right path. It's like, uh, you know, a silver lining, a blessing in disguise. Somebody's showing you their true face there. And you're going to understand how, why you didn't see that true face before. You're going to get clarity on it. Clarity how, how deep this uh, treason goes and how you let it happen. And the end here, it's beautiful you on your path and uh, wish fulfill the lovers and the high priestess that is a very strong realignment on where you're supposed to be so capricorn this is your reading uh, maybe at one point this month i'm gonna do a love reading on vimeo the link is going to be below if you want to check it again 
Um, and in the meantime, love and light and uh, happy Valentine's Day. And I'll see you next month. Okay? Bye-bye.